Hi there, Tony Crawford from Mount Comfort RV and today we're looking at a 1998 Tiffin Allegro Bus 37 model. And this is a diesel motor home. Uh, it's built on a Freightliner chassis. It's in fantastic condition for uh, its age. The previous owners took excellent care of it as you'll see on the inside. I'll point that out to you also. Uh, so let's go take a look around this uh, Tiffin Allegro Bus. It's beautiful. All right, so let's take a look here. We're on the front area, so we got a nice big, uh, nice big windows there. Uh, so you've got a really good view of the road, and even got some lights down below there to help you see. Got the Allegro Bus logo mirrors in the front, so you can see see as you're traveling down the road. On the driver's side here, we do have a driver's side entrance uh, with two steps, so easy to get in and out of you'd like to use this driver's side um, you can see the tires there tires are in really good condition and on this back side here we do have the slide uh, with the slide topper so that'll keep your uh, slide clean on top you won't have to sweep that off uh, before you drive along before you hit the road so you can see there window back here this is the uh, business area, business side, if you will. Moving along, got a hitch and a ultra guard there, keep things from flying up. Got a ladder, so you can climb up on top if you need to do some maintenance. The ladder there. Still really great color on the outside of this motor home. Got your Allegro bus logo back here. Tiffins, they're made in Red Bay, Alabama. Tiffin, Tiffin owners, current Tiffin owners already know that. Um, Tiffin fans definitely know that. Lots of storage down the side. So all these are storage, so you can get in there and um, take whatever you need to take with you. When you hit the road, got your awning up top. The awning actually has the awning topper or the awning cover. Uh, so that keeps uh, tree limbs or whatever from catching on your awning and ripping it and tearing it. Keeps dirt off of it when you're not using it. So that's a really good thing. Got a bug guard there. And there's a light there up top, kind of like a a porch light when you get your awning out. The awning's really big, so that'll give you lots of living space and living area on the outside. And there is an, uh, an awning that goes over the door, so that'll keep any um, bad weather, rain or whatever, it'll keep it on the outside of your uh, motor home when you're going in and out. And obviously electric steps, steps will pop out when you open the door. Screen door, four steps to get up inside there. And let's go take a look on the inside of this Tiffin Allegro bus. Hi there everybody, now we're on the inside of this 1998 Tiffin Allegro bus. And this is the 37 model. And as I mentioned on the outside, this is in beautiful condition. Uh, the previous owners took really good care of it. So everything's really clean. Um, you know, all the leather and, and uh, uh, cushions on the chairs and the, the couch, uh, all spectacular condition, no marks on it or no stains, nothing like that. Um, the previous owners just really babied it and took uh, great care uh, in it. So that's a good thing. Um, so over here on this side, we do have a love seat, which converts into a bed. Um, and then just directly behind that, we have the um, booth dinette area. So this also breaks down into a bed, so you can sleep two people, um, two short people. Um, but the cushions are in really good shape. Um, right above it, we have a coffee maker, so you can make coffee um, for those early mornings on the campsite. Um, then directly across from the couch, which is all the couch and the dinette are in a slide. Uh, directly across from that, we have our kitchen area. Uh, kitchen, pretty spacious, it's got a nice hardwood floor, so if you drop some stuff on the, the floor, it's not going to stain your carpet. Uh, you can just clean that right up. Have a double bowl sink, 
and a three burner cooktop uh, over here on this side and it's got the cover on the cooktop so you can still use that as um, you know cutting area or food preparation area above that we have a sharp carousel microwave uh, it's actually a convection oven I'm sorry uh, so you can cook things even faster and uh, that's really helpful when you're kind of uh, in a hurry to get back outside uh, plenty of storage up top so you got lots of cabinetry uh, nice hardwood cabinetry that just kind of goes all the way around um, and we'll scan so you can see that uh, oh back here we have the Norco uh, refrigerator so it's got a freezer area up top and down below you have the uh, refrigerator so you can uh, store all your cold stuff and moving back into our bathroom area uh, lots of room in this bathroom uh, you have uh, doors on the front and the back of the bathroom so you can block that off when you're using it still maintain all your privacy lots of storage uh, shelves up top and down below uh, so uh, down here we have our combination washer dryer so you can do your laundry when you're on the road uh, moving back we have some hanging storage and drawers underneath uh, so you can hang up all your stuff so it doesn't get wrinkled directly across from that we have our uh, walk-in shower sorry step-in shower um, but it's got plenty of room plenty of elbow room so you can uh, climb in there and not feel too cramped um, more storage over here on this side and then you have your sink area um, with a little bit of counter space on the other side you got a hair dryer and your medicine cabinet up top with lots of lights and then your commode is uh, right down next to your sink there um, so you can use that and then we have a fan uh, right above your your commode so you can uh, uh, keep the air fresh in the bathroom all right and now we're in the bedroom area as you can see we got this little pocket door here so you can block off the bedroom area uh, still maintain your privacy uh, nice new bedspread on the bed uh, this bed is made so you can walk all the way around the bed and still you know uh, get around things and do things that you need to do uh, before you get in bed or if you need to get up in the middle of the night you still got plenty of room got a TV up top uh, so you can lay in bed and watch TV um, and um, got some uh, storage on both sides of the bed too so you can um, store some things you got a nice little uh, end table on uh, the one side there and more storage and drawers on the other side and um, I think that's about it here in the bedroom area and we're up here in the cockpit area of this 1998 Tiffin Allegro bus uh, 37 model uh, super super nice super uh, and now we're in the cockpit area of this uh, 1998 Tiffin Allegro bus um, really roomy cockpit area this thing only has 79,000 miles on it uh, so pretty good mileage for 1998 uh, it's built on a Freightliner chassis um, as you can see by the little emblem there it does have a door on the driver's side so you can go in and out on the uh, driver's side if you like uh, TV in the console area uh, probably not going to watch out while you're driving but you can still use it if you'd like uh, it's got a radio um, and some storage underneath the TV storage up top you got some fans to keep you cool um, uh, the seats are also made of leather uh, one of the things Tiffin's really known for is really comfortable furniture so these chairs are no exception uh, definitely stay comfy as you uh, take those long road trips uh, be comfy on your back uh, you're not gonna break your back uh, driving long distances because these things are really nice really comfortable mm -hmm.